Hello and welcome to Sad Mode. Today is October 31st. That makes it Halloween, happy Halloween, but that also means it's time for a monthly favorites video. Welcome to Sad Mode. <laughs> Today, I have a whole range of different items that I will be talking about from beauty products, hair products, deodorant, accessories, fitness, food, we got it all. So let's just get started. I wanna start with the makeup products that I am absolutely loving and have been obsessing over this month. I signed up in June for the Ipsy Glam Bag subscription. It's $12 a month and you get five products in that bag. You also get a cute little bag with it. This was September, it's so cute. All the different bags that I have. This was October. It says your magic on one side and then it has this cute little wheel on the other side. With the Ipsy Glam Bags, you get the five products and you get to choose one of the products, which is awesome because I love makeup. I love getting to try new makeup every month. Four of the items are a little surprise to me and then one of them I get to pick. I get to know ahead of time what's coming my way. So the first item that I'm going to show you is actually my October pick from Ipsy. Here I have the Oriza Astral Amethyst Shimmer Eyeshadow. I am a huge makeup gal. So that was a close one. That was a good catch though. We have these four shades. This is the eyeshadow that I have on right now. Hello? This is it. On my eyeballs. I think this purple one is my favorite. You can see I made a big dent in it. So I just kind of bring it in and go into the crease with this. I love the pigmentation of the colors. I was really blown away with this when I first got it. I picked it. I knew I was excited about it, but it definitely delivered. I was not disappointed. And this was part of my October look for sure. Also, these colors are great for the fall, which is another reason why I picked it because I thought they were great fall shades. I also have from an Ipsy Glam Bag, IBY Highlighter, Radiant Glow Highlighter in Prosecco. This is vegan and cruelty free. Love that. So this was, like I said, also in an Ipsy Glam Bag of mine. This is such a pigmented highlighter. I already have it on my cheeks, but I've been putting it in my inner corners, under my eyebrows, and then a little bit on my nose, but on the finger, going in on the inner corner of my eyes. It just brightens up the look, really makes your eyes pop. Just gives it such a glowing look. I put a little bit on the nose and then under the eyebrow. I think it just adds such an extra element to the eyes to have this brightness. I'm a huge fan of this highlighter. I've been pairing this highlighter with this eyeshadow pretty much daily in October. Those are my two makeup products that I have been absolutely loving this month. Also, <laughs> as we started the video, these sunglasses are an October favorite, okay? These sunglasses are from Express. I went to the mall, I went to Express, I found these sunglasses. They were originally $30. Since it was the end of the season, they were on sale for 50% off, making them $15. And then I had a $10 insider points, so I only paid $5 for these sunglasses. They are such a great shape. They have this hexagon vibe to them. So I am so here for them. Only $5 with the discount and the insider points. I am so here for them. I absolutely love these sunglasses. While we're on the topic of accessories, I also have this bracelet. My friend sent me this as a gift in the mail and I am obsessed with it. It is this Positive Vibes bracelet. It has the meaning of each of the stones. I was actually, I think, wearing this in the Gymshark try on my last video. When I'm having a hard week or a hard day, I am reminded that I have positive energy with me. I'm a big person who believes in energy. Having this type of energy with me is such an amazing reminder. 
It was just very thoughtful. So thank you if you were the friend who gifted this to me. I always said if I made a favorites video, it would be a disservice to not include this item. This is not just an October favorite. This is genuinely a lifetime favorite product of mine. And I always knew. I knew this video was coming one day and I knew this was gonna be in it. This is the Infusium 23 Pro. It is a leave-in treatment. Every time I take a shower and I wash my hair, after I get out of the shower, when I'm about to detangle my hair, I put this just, it has like a little spout, little spout drizzle it all over my hair. A little bit honestly goes a long way. This bottle is a pretty decent size. This lasts me easily six months, if not more. The difference that it makes in my hair is absolutely incredible. I find that if I have any knots in my hair, if I had anything for any reason why my hair is extra tangled, if I curled it, this, once I put it in my hair, the comb glides through. Any other time when I would be like wrestling with a tangle, this just absolutely makes it 10 times easier. I always put it in. It's a leave-in treatment, so it leaves your hair really soft. I have been using this product for years. This, You see how big these bottles are? I have gone through multiple, multiple, multiple bottles of this stuff, and I absolutely swear by it. This whole thing is only eight or nine dollars. You cannot beat the price of it. Moving on, I was on the quest, the quest for a natural deodorant. Well, you know, I was a little nervous because I was just using the same deodorant. It wasn't a natural deodorant. Would it work for me? Would it smell good? Would it have, like, I didn't know. I was new to the natural deodorant game. However, I went to Target and ended up picking up. This is the Schmitz Rose and Vanilla Natural Deodorant. I am absolutely ecstatic about this product okay and this one was i think around seven eight dollars so i was like let me give it a go it absolutely smells amazing it truly does smell like rose and vanilla no aluminum salts and no artificial fragrances and you already know it's vegan and cruelty free i have been really trying to be conscious of products that are vegan and cruelty free making that switch making that switch to a natural deodorant so i absolutely have been loving this i do find that it does sometimes leave the streaks on my clothing but i think that is worth it i find that i still gym hard in it and i don't have any problems i do not smell bad in the gym i smell like roses and vanilla and i know that i'm taking care of my moving on okay let's while we're talking about the gym next this is also not just october but more of a 2020 favorite for me but i had to talk about it was this resistance band it is this amazing pink camo color i bought this back in the beginning of the year because i just had a rubber band so it is amazing to have a band like this because it is heavy duty it doesn't snap it doesn't roll up it does its job it is very resistant you can see I'm tugging. I've had it all year and it still has full resistance. Oh, it has these little like rubber pieces on the inside. So when I do my glute activation on leg day, I'm always taking this with me, pop it on, do some squats, some lateral walking, kickbacks. I had that in my first leg day video. This is just a staple in the gym for me on leg day. I'm a big fan of this band. This was also gifted to me recently, so thank you so much. The Sun and Her Flowers. So I just finished reading the first book, Milk and Honey. I know I'm a little late to the game, but I didn't even know there was a second book, so my friend recently gave this to me. You can see I've already made stickies of the pages that I have found to be inspirational. Yesterday, I took a long hot bath and I just read this book in the bathtub and it just really was such an inspirational read. I love the words, I love the poems. I find it to be articulated in the most beautiful way. When I was reading this actually, as I was making my sticky notes in it and I was snapping as I was reading it because I was like, this is it. I, it's just the messages in it. So many of these words resonate with me. I have been really enjoying reading these books. If you are looking for some empowerment, I'm very, very grateful for the friend who gifted this to me as well. Thank you for your kind words and supporting me. Let's get the food from the freezer. 
from the freezer. Last but not least, we're gonna talk about some food. Born proudly meat-free, meatless nuggets. No GMO, soy-free, excellent source of protein. So I do not eat meat. However, that does not mean I had to give up chicken nuggets. These are really good. They taste just like chicken nuggets to me. The first time I ate them, I panicked that I was actually eating chicken because it tasted so real. You are trying to reduce your meat intake, but you don't want to give up chicken nuggets. This is a great option. I also have, I haven't tried them yet, so I'll let you know. These are Mission Protein Plant Powered Tortillas. So I'm excited about this. I've tried different versions of this brand's tortillas. I've had the low carb ones, like spinach ones, whole wheat ones, but I think these ones are new, these protein ones. So what I actually like to do with both of these is I like to make vegetarian buffalo chicken quesadillas. Popping the nuggets in the oven, warming up the tortilla, putting a little bit of cheese on. Right now I have some like spicy cheddar pepper jack or cheddar jack, something like that. Put some cheese in, put some Frank's Red Hot, put your nuggets in, fold it, cut it, and you have vegetarian buffalo chicken quesadillas. So that is a fun dinner meal that I like to make. It is absolutely delicious. I really like these nuggets, these wraps. I'm excited to try, get a little extra boost of protein. And that concludes this month's monthly favorites. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Swing it girl, the like and subscribe. I am always here for you, supporting you on your journey, whatever your journey may be. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. I gotta get these nuggets back in the freezer before they defrost.